you need to make sure your battery, your battery's in there, your batteries are charged. You've got to move these little levers. You're going to lock everything in here. These levers go down into the lock position so that the battery tray doesn't slide around. Okay. Now all you have to do is mount your tray into the slot right here. So you've got to remember to have your gears disengaged inside the housing. And you just push it in there nice and slow. Make it flush or as hard as it will go with your finger. And then lock it with this lever under here. I don't know if you can see that. See that lever? Lock that down. Okay, now the power source is here. Good. And you might have to take this door off. But in order to extend your battery, you have to plug this power supply. So you got to route this cable so it doesn't get pinched, but I, pu I plugged in the power supply here. Okay, make sure this cable doesn't get pinched between the housing. To put the door on it, you better make sure you don't have a red flashing light. So I reset, there's a switch right here. Reset that, turn it off, turn it back on. Now you see a blue light. The blue light will allow you to get a suction when you use the vacuum pump. Okay, so to get the camera, the back door on there, press it down, use the latch keys, and you're locked. Now to make it vacuum, take the cap off the vacuum seal, put the pump on there, it's just a flexible tube, put it on there, and then you're gonna, here's what engages your gears. Okay, the gears went inward. And now, if the camera's in the correct position, I would have zoom, there's zoom right here. Zoom is on the bottom. And go, go slow with that. Okay, but there's zoom on the bottom. Focus is on the top. All right. These other controls, you have your menu control, you have everything. You have all your, your creative controls are here. You need to make sure the internal battery is charged on the camera for it to function. Okay. There's your battery indicator. I would switch it to voltage. And there you go. I need this and let all the gas come out of it. And when all the gas comes out of it, then it's gonna turn red like this, okay? Now don't, don't forget to put the cap on here when you, when you finish disassembling so you don't lose it. You're gonna need that. I'm gonna open this door by pushing these red buttons right here, and then I'm gonna open this up and pull this off. Okay, now I can pull, I can disengage my gears. These are gonna back away. Actually, those were disengaged. So that, that engages them, that disengages them. So I disengage my gears. Now I can unlock the tray and I can pull the camera out of the housing. So after you've led your housing, let's say you want to take the port off from the front. So you make sure you've got a red light. I've already bled the gas out of the housing. I just want to take it off from the front, and it's pretty easy to take it apart. The gate is here. You got to press down this gray part on top. Press that down and make it horizontal. A little horn looks like a little cow's horn. And then you're going to take these. These you're going to separate these two dots right here. You separate those two and pull it right off. Now to, to get this dot, these two dots apart, you have to turn this to this. The only way you're gonna get to that is a lock inside here. You see that, that silver thing right there? That's the lock. I'm gonna reach in there, unlock it. And if you've lubed your O-ring properly, you should be able to turn that to the, the line. Now I can pop these apart. Okay. To put them back together, it's a pre everything is a press fit, press it flush, 
return the dot to the dot. And then the lock is sticking up. That can't be sticking up. It's going to interfere with your lens. So you have to press that into place. Now these two can't be separated. 